Hey there, my name's Chris Winter, and in this video, I'm gonna go through some of the best settings to use with your brand new Canon T7i or 800D, so you can get some good quality video. And guys, in case you didn't know, I'm currently giving away a Canon 77D or a Nikon D5600 to one lucky subscriber. So if you wanna enter, all you need to do is hit that subscribe button. And guys, also definitely make sure to check out my brand new list that I just made, the top five best DSLRs for video. That link will be in the description box below under this video, and you can take a look. But anyway, let's take a look at some of the best settings to use with the Canon T7i. So the first setting that we're gonna change is actually the menu itself. So what we're gonna do is head to menu, then we're gonna to go to display level settings. We're gonna hit okay, and we're gonna change our menu display from guided to standard. And then as you see, when we hit menu again, we're gonna have a lot more uh, information that we can actually change on our menus. And this is definitely the way that you wanna be going because the other menu option is a little bit basic. Now one quick tip when you are filming, you'll notice that if you're in automatic mode, which is the green mode at the top here, you can't actually change any settings. This is okay if you're just starting and you wanna just point and shoot and just film. But once you do wanna get a little bit more technical and a little bit more creative, I'd recommend changing the setting to the M at the very top here. That means manual mode. And what that's gonna allow you to do is change things like your shutter speed, your aperture, and also your ISO. Now it might take a little bit of time to get used to, but it's definitely well worth the, the effort. And once you learn these modes, you'll never wanna go back. So let's get started by taking a look at the frame rates on your Canon T7i. So to access these, what we're gonna do is hit Q. Then we're gonna to go to the second option here. And you'll see that we have a number of different recording rates at which we can shoot in. So we have 60 frames per second, which is really good if you wanna have slow motion because you can take it back into your uh, nonlinear editor and slow it down in post. We have 30 frames per second, which is really good if you wanna have relatively smooth motion. It looks a lot like TV. And if you wanna have the most cinematic kind of uh, shot, you can shoot in 24 frames per second. Now this is the traditional uh, cinematic frame rate. So if you want that, uh, 24 is great for that. You're gonna be getting a little bit more motion blur with that, but it's a pretty good idea. Generally for YouTube, I shoot in 30 frames per second, but if you wanna do slow-mo, go 60. If you wanna have a really cinematic look, go 24. Now, as you know, the Canon T7i has a fantastic dual pixel autofocus system, an upgrade from the hybrid autofocus system that was in the previous camera. So let's take a look at the settings we've got for that. So we're gonna hit Q again. Then we're gonna to go to the very top option here, AF. So what we can do is we have three different options right here. The two that I like to use are face tracking and also one point AF. So with face tracking, this is actually what I use to record on all of my videos. What we're gonna do is go back here make sure that autofocus is on on your camera. And you'll see that when I walk in front of this camera right here, my face is actually getting picked up by the autofocus system on the Canon T7i. It's really fantastic. Even if I move around, you can see that no matter where I go, I'm still gonna be in focus. Hopefully it's working, I can't actually see the other camera. But this is fantastic if you're gonna be filming yourself and you don't have anyone else to pull focus for you. Another option that I really like to use though is the single point or the one point AF. So essentially what this is gonna do is allow you to choose exactly where you want to be in focus. So we can actually just move on the screen and whatever is in this little square right here is gonna smoothly and cinematically come into focus. So I'll just show you right here. We have this little controller right here. What I can do is put my finger over it. And you can see that whatever is there is gonna smoothly come into focus. So this can be a great option, especially if you've got a moving subject, just keep your finger on it and you're gonna have great cinematic focus pulls. Another setting that we're gonna change is your picture profiles. So we're gonna hit Q again, then we're gonna go down to this third option right here, the A button. So we'll hit on that. And essentially what your picture profiles are gonna allow you to do is have a really flat image. So if you wanna add some effects in post-production, you'll be able to change them a lot easier. So it normally comes set in auto mode, which is a pretty good picture profile if you don't wanna do any editing, but we wanna change it to something a little bit more flat. So you've got a number of different options here. You've got standard, portrait, landscape. The one that I like to use is neutral. So if we wanna edit this, we go to info, and we have a number of different options which we can customize. So I like to keep my sharpness at zero. I like to have my contrast at minus two. I like to have my saturation which is how colorful your image is gonna be. I like to have that at minus one, and I like to keep the other option at the bottom. So essentially we're gonna have quite a flat image here. It's not gonna look that great coming straight out of the camera, 
but once you get back into post-production and you want to do some color grading, it's going to look a whole lot better. Another one of my favorite features on the Canon T7i is one that not a lot of people know about, and that's its digital zoom function. So we can hit Q, then if we go down to the third option right here, we have digital zoom. And see what happens when I press this button right here. You can see that we're zoomed in three times. Now normally with digital zoom, you might be thinking of your old cameras, which would really degrade the image quality. But on the Canon T7i, it's essentially just cropping on the sensor and you're not gonna be losing nearly any image quality at three times. You can in fact even zoom in more. If you press this button up here, the WB button, you can see that we can zoom in all the way to 10 times. Now, I wouldn't recommend this because you do lose image quality the uh, further you go forward. But if you do need to zoom in a little bit and you're in a bit of a pinch, this can be a great option to have. Now, one of the most important parts of filmmaking is getting good quality audio. So what we're gonna do right now is change a few audio settings on your Canon T7i. So to do this, we're gonna hit menu. Then we're gonna to go to sound recording, tap on there. We're gonna change the recording mode to manual. Then we're gonna bring our record level down a little bit. The reason that we're doing this is when it's set in auto, it's got a thing called auto gain control and this can often lead to a lot of hiss and that kind of fuzzy noise sound, which isn't very good. I'd also recommend using a shotgun mic like I've got here attached to the top. Essentially, you just plug it into the 3.5 millimeter jack on the left. And if you use this, which has much better audio quality than your inbuilt mics, and you bring your recording level down, you should be able to get much better audio quality. Now, one of the great new features in the Canon T7i is its new movie image stabilization mode. So let's turn that on and take a look. So we're gonna hit Q, then we're gonna go down to the fourth option here, Movie Digital IS, which stands for Movie Digital Image Stabilization. And there are two options. There's Enabled and there's Enhanced. One thing you'll notice when you do turn these on is that your image does get cropped a little bit, especially when we go to enable and enhanced, you can really see that it's quite cropped. So that's something you need to take into consideration. If we go to enable, you'll notice that when you are walking around, your image should be quite a lot smoother than what it would be with it disabled. Now you will also notice that on my Canon T7i, this 18 to 55 millimeter lens it also does have stabilization on. I like to keep them both on, and that way you're gonna be getting a really nice and smooth shot, which is definitely something that you would like to use, especially if you don't have a tripod. So that was just a couple of video settings that I like to use with the brand new Canon T7i. Now guys, in case you haven't done it yet, definitely make sure to hit that subscribe button to enter into the draw to win a Canon 77D or a Nikon D5600. And also definitely make sure to check out my brand new list, the top five best DSLRs for video. That link is in the description box below under this video. Hope you guys have a fantastic day. Happy shooting with your brand new Canon T7i and I'll see you next time. Bye.